All right, so this is my first day riding for the, uh, training for the 600 mile ride ride, bike ride. I've never ridden before, but I got this like cool bike and, uh, you know, and I got all the stuff and we'll see how this goes. Okay, so I did almost 50 miles and, uh, my ass feels like hamburger. I've never ridden that far in my whole life. I uh, decided to go as far as I could to get ready for this 600 mile trip. And it was very painful, very hard. The last 10 miles were, I had to dig deep, uh, rough. First time maybe I need to start out with a little less <laughs> miles to start out with, but I pulled it off and I know where I'm at. So we'll see. So I'm, uh on the coast highway and I'm about halfway through a 44, 43 mile ride today. My wife is gonna meet me in, I can't remember the name of the town, but this is how beautiful it is where I am. And I'm riding up that big ass hill. I'm doing good so far. I'm doing got some cramps and uh, body aches, but I'm but I'm doing good. Okay, 50 miles again, but up a really huge hill that was so hard that I almost like fell over. I was going so slow. People were like walking as fast as me, and my legs were shaking so bad that I almost fell over. But I did it. I did 50. I was going for 75, but I didn't account for that massive hill. So. Uh, I'll try it again. All right, so I did the most I've ever done, 70 miles. Um, I got like, there's levels of pain that I haven't had before that I had this time. Uh, extremely hard. And now I'm a little bit intimidated about this, about this 545 miles. So, you know, but I did it, so. 30 miles. Uh, not bad, actually. The air is certainly a lot thicker down here. But check it out. It's beautiful. Back in San Diego, baby. Okay. The rain stopped, but uh, that was the first time I've ever ridden a bike uh, that far. And... Uh, <laughs> That was fucking hard. That was really hard. The last, I don't know, 10 miles or so were just gnarly. But I did, I guess, uh, over 40 miles. So, you know, good first day. I'm in my hotel room, staring at my bike. It's me and that 550 miles. Okay, halfway. 50 miles, uh, here. Fuck. There's a lot of things that go through your head like, why am I doing this? It's ridiculous, because it goes from like having discomfort to being tired, to being like, why am I doing this? To I'm not having fun anymore, to just I'm in pain. <laughs> and then back to why am I doing this? So I'm in the Cascade uh, Mountains now, doing a quick 30 miles on this like, check out this road, it's like a, it's like a gravel road. But the views are just amazing. Look at this. Except right here where they did uh, clear-cut logging, which I'm strongly opposed to. I just feel like they should, if they're going to long log, it's okay to log. What they need to do, though, is select cut so the big growth trees can help the babies. And then grind up all the stumps and spray them everywhere like bark. And then replant, for Christ's sakes. So it doesn't leave like a, looks like a bomb went off. But anyway, over here, it's beautiful. And I'm on my way. So 
I am, I got 17 more miles today. And I swear to God, I can't believe how many times I've been like, I don't know if I could do this, you know? So, but I can just keep going. Just do another one and then just do another one. The, the guy that I ran the marathon with, he said, he was like, why don't you just go a little further when I was training? And uh, so that's what I'm doing. I'm just going a little further every time. There's this hill that is just, it's called the wall. And I'm just at the foot of it, ready to climb. I don't know if you can see, but it's, it's a really steep hill. So I gotta climb this. Hopefully there's a glide on the other side. And then I roll into camp. <laughs> Get off the seat. <sighs> so I've been climbing this hill for hours. Just keeps going up and up and up. Uh, look, you gotta dig deep into your soul to get up this thing. 75 miles, um, <clears throat> rough day, huge headwind. Uh, I ran into the back of an SUV in front of a bunch of people uh, and I got a flat tire, but I kept going. I'm pretty, pretty tired, <laughs> so we'll see. Fucking hill. This hill. God damn. It's never gonna end. Just keeps going up and up. Right now I'm fighting a hell of a headwind. I'm going downhill. I got eight miles left. I got this crazy headwind. A 20 mile an hour headwind. Top of this hill is the view. It's gonna be really awesome, I think. Turn on my camera in case I to show everybody. <coughs> what it looks like. Whew. Today's the biggest ride, 100 miles. I started, uh, I'm about 25 miles deep, and uh, we'll see how this goes, pretty intense. Mile 36, and uh, I'm in the Lava Beds National Park. It's really beautiful, but holy shit, it's hot. And there's, it looks like. Nothing here but heat and me <coughs> so this sucks my seat came off right in the middle of the ride so going into a bike store this guy's gonna hook me up okay so crazy story I'm climbing up this huge hill you know you're climbing up the hill you have your head down sometimes because you're just trying to power up the hill and I hear this like grunting. I look up and there's a fucking bear, uh, you know, 
I don't know, 20 feet in front of me. And, uh, and he just looks at me and stares at me for a little while and just sort of takes his time and walks off the trail. It was so awesome. Just a minute ago, a deer with a couple of little babies jumped off the hill and walked by me. I saw an owl in the tree. I mean, this is a really beautiful drive. If, uh, if anybody uh, has the chance, um, Lassen National Park is just beautiful. It's just a, there's not a lot of people. It's just gorgeous. Anyway, here I go. Zero visibility. Just climbed this huge hill. The cliff down there. No shoulder again. <clears throat> and there's no visibility. But finally, it looks like I'm going downhill for a little bit. More than welcome. All right, I did it. 9,000 feet elevation. Mammoth. There's the mountain. I'm going to try to do uh, another mountain today and see how it goes. I'll check in. I'm going to climb it up. The <coughs> climbing up this mountain in Mammoth now. Uh, high elevation. My asthma is killing me. But look at the view. It's <coughs> So I'm uh I thought this would be a good ah, chance to show you guys over overcoming obstacles. This is huge hill. <coughs> a huge amount of elevation gain <coughs> at high elevation. And I'm uh aside from this stop. I'm gonna keep going, and uh, you know, I'll let you guys know when I'm stop. I had a bit of a knee injury, so I took a few days off to let it heal, acupuncture and stuff, and it was awesome. And I'm back riding again. So beautiful, look at this. That's where I'm riding, but uh, definitely my body is feeling like really kind of worn down, but I guess the, this is the peak, so all right. I'm doing this just incredible ride on this beautiful trail in Lake Tahoe now. Look at that view. Just amazing and the trail is beautiful sun's going down it's good life back in San Diego uh, I can breathe a lot better down here but um, here's where I am check it out so I wanted to show you guys that before you felt sorry for me but I'm having an awesome time 